Okay, so there has actually been a big change in plans, and by that, um, what I mean is I was originally going to build the Ghostbusters Firehouse for my uh, channel launch video, but recently, and by recently I mean today, I got this, the uh, Saturn V rocket. And I'm going to put that together instead, and we are just going to get started on that right away. Um, you can see the uh, two sets that I have. I have the Ghostbusters Firehouse and then the uh, Apollo 5. And this is actually, uh, what did I just say, Apollo 5? Saturn 5. Um, this is a really big set. Those are minifigures, and that is the actual rocket. Just to put it into perspective. Um, another way to put it into perspective is I have the uh, Big Bang Clock Tower right back there. Forget how tall that one is, but if you have that, um, you know how tall it is, and it is really tall. Well, that's how tall that is. This is how tall the rocket is. So, let me see if I can zoom out. That might be difficult. I don't know if I can. But, 39 inches. One meter. A little over a yard, or three feet tall. And it is six inches in diameter. Which is... A lot of inches I don't really have anything to use to put that into perspective but it's a lot so without further ado I say we dig right into this thing so let's do that now so let me just get that and there we go Now, because it is LEGO Ideas, I don't think there's any new elements to this set, but I will definitely keep an eye out. I mean, you never know. So I'm just going to uh, quickly sort these out. You know, right here, I don't, you can't even see it. Right here is what we're building. And there we go. Alright, I think I am ready to begin. Okay, so due to time constraints, I was not able to include the time lapse in this video. However, uh, sometime in the next few days, possibly next week, I will have a video posted on my channel of just the time lapse of the Saturn V building. It just took way too long to do, so um, and I just had to cut it out completely, so that's why. So when you see all these cuts, uh, that's what it's from. Um, anyway, I hope you're enjoying it so far. Alright, and just like that, I am done. Alright, so I'm on to bag two. Here it is. So, let's go ahead and open this up. We can set this aside. Now we're getting into the base. If you, can, if you see there, we're getting into uh, that part. Pour those out. I'm just making four of these. Done. They are going to go right in between these, so right here. Just like that. Here goes the second. Look at this. That is a nice looking rocket. Alright. It's gonna get a little taller. So, let's move on to three. Alright. This one should be another just breeze to do. So, let's get to it. Alright, so I have four of these now. Alright, now to very carefully 
delicately put these on. There we go. Alright, so this is almost done. About 13.25 inches. So we added an inch right there. So, as of now, here is where we're at again. So, it looks really nice. I love all the detail that went into this. You know, stuff just like right in there. Uh, USA on the side. You have the flag. Just everything about this just looks incredible. And we are now on section four, bag four. all these bags out. <sighs> My thoughts so far, I really love the way this looks. This one's a lot of small pieces, so I'm not really going to sort anything out. No new elements, but I'm just going to get right to this. Alright, so unfortunately my camera died about halfway through 6. Um, of course I didn't realize it until I finished. So, um, yeah, again, that's unfortunate, but uh, this is where we're at. I think this whole bottom part is complete. As we move on to 7, we are moving on to stage 2, I believe. This is stage 1. We are moving on to stage 2. Let me organize these out. Alright, time to begin. Alright, I have finished this, uh, what would you call this, um, shell, but it's not it, the inner shell, I guess. It's not the outer shell, because uh, that's what this is. But... You know, this is actually surprisingly light. I mean, obviously that's going to be heavy, but it's just I've been working with this big one. That This thing is like weightless, basically. On to bag eight. Alright, this one is actually really, really small, so it shouldn't take that long. I it in about 13 minutes, because that was set for 7. And, um, the one before it was, uh, 10, which actually isn't bad, 13. Alright, well, this one's easy. I may actually be able to do this one. Oh, there's a lot of pieces. I... I'll shoot for 15, so this is number 9, we're almost done with this. I'm confident in myself about uh, getting it in 15 minutes, so let me pull up the timer, and here we go, 4, 3, 2, one, here we go. Okay, literally all I have left is adding all of these white pieces right here onto all of these. And I still have ten and a half minutes left on the timer. Let's see how quickly we can do this. Alright, I have finished that with over half of the time left. Now all I have to do is slap it onto here. Alright, we're on to 10. 10 is another small one. Sweet. Let me see if I can do it in 5. If I can get these open in time. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Begin.
Well, I didn't quite get in five, but we'll go for maybe five more, and that should be good. Five, four, you get the idea. <sighs> oh, and now we are adding it in. Here we go. Alright, so... Yeah, that, and then we're just going to put that right there. Wow. And not quite as tall as the Disney castle yet, but I think it is, mm, it is barely taller than the uh, clock tower. I'm not going to do a timer on this one. I'm just going to build. Alright, here we go. Alright, so my camera is about to die, so uh, I may just build 12 off camera and uh, just show you when I am finished, when I add the final piece. I sure hope you enjoyed those overly dramatic shots of the second tallest Lego set in history. So I absolutely love this set. It is now time for me to give my full review. So it stands 39.37 inches tall, which is a little bit, like a little, little, tiny bit over one meter. And it comes with these pieces, which are stands for the uh, rocket. You can lay it sideways on these. The lunar lander. The splashdown. That's what it says on the box. Alright, so anyway, these are all of those stages I was talking about. So it starts there, and it just goes down or up I should say. This stuff can actually be stored inside the rocket. I'll get to that in a second. But first, my full detailed review. The price. The price was absolutely incredible for this set. $120 for 2,000 pieces. Which is just phenomenal. I would never have guessed that this set would be so cheap. Maybe it has to do something with the fact that it's a LEGO Ideas project or something like that, but it is very inexpensive. The next uh, bit, um, building time, moderate. At first I thought it was going by really fast, but uh, then it proved me wrong. It took a few hours, I want to say, maybe uh, two and a half to three hours. I'll have to look back at the time. I'll leave exactly how long it took down in the description below. The overall look, it's just, it's just incredible. Here, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the tripod over this way, and I'm going to sit like this so that you can see a very small portion of this. Alright, so overall look incredible. I would 
<clears throat> definitely recommend it if you are into um, displaying Legos. That's uh, one of my things. I like to display Legos. If you are going to invest in this set, leave it in the box. Um, you'll probably get a pretty decent value for it. It is, there's no other set like it. It's unique in its own way, but there's no new elements because it's a Lego Ideas project. Maybe some new colors. Build difficulty, I'm just going to come out and say it. This was one of the most difficult Lego sets I have ever built. It's just, the whole thing is challenging about it because you have these small pieces that attach onto um, a frame inside and that is super fragile and I made a lot of mistakes too, stuff that's easy to miss. If you're going to build this, pay attention to each and every little detail. And so pay attention to each detail, make sure you do it 100% correct. The next part, exterior detail phenomenal, interior nothing. There's nothing inside. I was actually pretty disappointed by this. I thought they could have put like, what's it called? Is it still called a cockpit and a rocket? I'm not sure. But I thought they could have done something like that. Or, um, you know, just anything to represent the inside doesn't matter what, I just would have liked something. As for the Lunar Lander, very detailed. Alright, so these are the tiny minifigures, and they represent the actual size of astronauts, and I'll show you something pretty cool here in a second. The American flag, which is actually printed onto a clear 1x2 tile and then we just have all of this stuff that represents like uh, the door and whatnot I'm not exactly a rocket person but I kinda know what it does so a lot of uh, gold pieces used on this which makes it look really cool the next thing is the um, what do they call this splashdown for the uh, raft part, um, it's just some of these clamps, there's uh, eight of them, and they just uh, go around in a circle, and then you place them right over the top, and then we just have uh, some of these pieces, which uh, go onto the side of that. And then if I grab another one of these guys, one of the mini minifigures, and I place it right next to the rocket. So here's the mini mini figure. And there's the rocket. So, obviously a very giant rocket. I don't even think I can fit this all in one shot unless I tilt the camera sideways. Massive. And then these stands, these just go like this. You kind of want to space them out, maybe like a, a 10 inches to a foot apart from each other. And then the rocket just lays sideways across there. Alright, this is what that looks like. So we have this, uh, we have three stands. This one is a bit different because the uh, cone gets smaller. Kind of like, you can see where it slopes in a little bit. As for these two, same height, and again, very nice. I can't, oh, yep, I can get it all. Wide lens camera does the trick. Alright, now I'm going to break it open. Not literally. Well, I mean, okay, you'll see what I mean. I'm going to pull the stages apart. Alright, so I'm just going to kind of find where it ends, which is right here, and I'm just going to very gently, maybe if I do it vertically, sorry, I know you're missing it, but it's just easier to do it like this, less fragile. Alright, I got it off, and now you can actually see 
what this one looks like. So this is um, the next bit after that first part kind of gets thrown off. We have five more engines and a lot of rocket. It's still taller than that first one, but not by much. Not by much. Alright, let's move this aside and show you where the lunar lander goes. This bit, uh, that folds up, all four of the legs fold up, and then it just pops right off like that. And I think it actually goes this way, just kind of folds in. And then we're going to see what we can do with this. I don't think, so I think the way this works is these two stages, they're just like uh, thrusters basically. They detach and have the rocket basically be powered towards the moon. But this, this is where a lot of the action is happening, I believe. So, I think this cone comes off. But I could be wrong. Oh, yep, yeah, it does. Alright, good. So, that's the top cone. And then, here we go. So, the lunar lander just goes right in there. Just like that. And then we can balance that, look at that, and we can put the top cone back on and it doesn't fit. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Oh, I had the legs folded backwards. And then it goes like this, and oh, now it fits like a glove. So I think we can actually put these round pieces back on, and then it just fits right in there. Yep, that is perfect. And to get it out, you kind of got to fidget with it. There we go. And let's take this. Okay. We'll just figure out how that goes. Anyway, this goes in here. Up in there. And then we put this on, just like that. And just like that, the lunar lander is now in the rocket. So this is the service module. This gray part. This is the command module. Which is where the rocket would be controlled from by the astronauts. And then, this is the launch escape system. Alright, now I'm going to put it all back together and give it one last... Uh, one last talk, I guess, about it. And, just like that, the second toss, like you said, in history. So, I'm going to put this back on the stand, show you one last look of it. <clears throat> and, that'll be it for this review. The stand is probably the number one thing I love about this set. Because then I don't have to stand it vertically, and worry about it uh, falling and breaking. Alright, now with the Lunar Lander, I am just going to fold these legs out completely, and then I am going to set it down. I'm going to need to move that guy. Set it down like that, and then, oh, you guys can't see. And then when I set it down on that little cone there, I just push all the golden legs down, and I can plop this guy right there. Bam. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. And uh, consider subscribing if you are new here. Uh, this is my first video, so I apologize if anything went unexpectedly. But I sure hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if there's any sets that you would like me to review. I'll let you guys know if I have them or not. Or I can uh, possibly purchase them depending on the price. And um, that is pretty much it. Um, so I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I again, I really hope you enjoyed it. First video, first time. So... 
hopefully it went well anyway uh comment like and uh subscribe and i'll see you guys later thanks for watching